Neil, uh, good to, to see you. Good to, to talk to you on Celtic TV. First of all, as I've been asking all the guys, how, how are things with you out, out in Israel? Um, yeah, I think it's, uh, it's the same as uh, the rest of the world. Um, until the last few days, everything was shut down. Everything was closed. Um, you were not allowed to leave your house more than 500 meters to do uh, some activities or 100 meters to just to, to take a walk. Um, the last few days has been a uh, little bit uh, better. They opened a lot of stores, a lot of uh, um, a lot of restrictions um, they got off. So now it's, it's, it's easier. Yeah. And you've still been able to, in terms of just being at home, still keeping up in terms of the fitness and the fitness programs the guys are giving you? Yeah, yeah. I, I, bought, I bought myself a little gym here in the balcony. So I'm trying to, to keep uh, active. Um, you know, it's, it's, at the end of the day, it's, uh, it's a tough time for all of us, but we need to, we need to stay at it. We need to uh, maintain the fitness that we've been working on. And um, it's very important for us to, to, uh, to stay fit to when we come back. Because, it, you know, prior to the lockdown, in the last game we played, we, we won 5 0 against St. Mirren. The team were in a brilliant run of form, went 13 points clear at the top of the table and, and heading towards that ninth title. Yeah, I mean, since we came back from Dubai, um, we've been on unbelievable run and uh, we had an amazing form. Everyone was on, on top of their game. And, um, you know, for us, this. Uh, this situation is not ideal, but uh, we need to deal with that, and uh, we need to make sure that um, we're ready to when we come back. If the league is uh, finished or not, it's not our job. Uh, we need to make sure that we are ready, and um, we will see what's happened. Because you, you've obviously you've been at the club now since 2013, but just that relentless drive for success that the team have got. You know, we win the league cup again. We have a great Euro Europa League campaign. Beat Lazio home and away. From the semi-final of the Scottish Cup, 13 points clear at the top of the table. And that's year in, year out, the guys are continuing to push themselves. Yeah, I mean, I said it in, in my previous uh, interviews. Uh, you know, when you when you come for when you come to play in a club like Celtic, you always have expectation, you always have uh, um, uh, big uh, expectation from yourself, from your teammates, um, to win trophies, to win games. And um, if you lose a game, it's it's a disaster, and um, I think that's the mentality in our green dressing room. It's the mentality around the around the training ground and um, everyone involved. I think everyone want to win. Everyone to want to to keep winning trophies, uh, titles, uh, to be the best, and um, that's what uh, motivates us. And obviously, from a from a personal point of view, this season. You must have been delighted just before Christmas to, to sign your new contract, to, and which will take you to the club till 2023, which is effectively almost 10 years at Celtic, which is very impressive. Yeah, um, when, I, when I first signed in Celtic, uh, when I was 21 years old, if you, if you tell me back then that I would be in Celtic for 10 years, I would buy it your hand off. Um, it's like a dream come true for me, for my family, uh, to... To play in this level uh, for for the for this period for a long time, and um, I just want to keep it uh, to keep it uh, going and to try help the team to win games, to win trophies, to be part of this successful club, and uh, to make sure that um, we're making everyone proud. I mean, I think I, I interviewed you before. Obviously, you had that almost a year out of football. Was that made you? even more appreciative of, of being able to play and play games at the highest level because you know what the downside of football is? Yeah, of course. I mean, when you're out for for one year almost and um, you suffer from a tough injury, then you, you start to appreciate the small things in life and uh, you don't take um, the simple things in life for granted. Um, I mean, I said it before, every single minute that I get... I get on the pitch. I'll try to do my best. I'll try to help the team. Um, you know, I've been I've been out for one year with a tough injury, so um, I know what what is it to to be out and uh, not allowed to not be able to do what you you love to do. And uh, 
for me right now it's uh, just uh, try stay fit try to stay healthy try uh, play as many games as I can and uh, win trophies with Celtic I mean, it's funny how you know the way football turns out that you know Neil Lennon brought you to the club way back in August 2013. He 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 returns again last year and he's now your manager for for the the next part of this ten years you're here. Yeah, I mean he's he's the he's the manager that brought me to Celtic. He's the manager that uh, gave me the the opportunity, and I'll be I'll be very grateful for him uh, for the rest of my life. Uh, but me and Neil, we have uh, me and the gaffer. I call him Neil. Uh, me and the gaffer. Uh, <laughs> See what happens when you're away from the club for a few weeks. Yeah, games. I mean, I was, I was, I'm away for six weeks, so I lost my way a little bit. <laughs> but uh, yeah, me and the gaffer, we have, uh, we have a good relationship. I think he's, a, he's a very honest man. Um, uh, he's a top man to work with. Um, the one-on-one uh, coaching is, is, is a top level, and uh, I'm just. I'll do everything that I can to 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 make him proud. Because I'm guessing when he came back, from your point of view, it's good that you, you've worked under him before. You know what he can do. But I'm guessing from his point of view, having the likes of yourself, uh, uh, Brown, James Forrest, Mikel Lustig, these guys that he'd known for a lot of years, that must have helped him settle in. Yeah, I think he's uh, he came last season um, under, let's say, not the... Not the easiest circumstances. I mean, uh, it was a tough time uh, when Brendan left in the middle of the season, and uh, Neil came to to seal the boat. Um, I mean, for us, the, the senior players, uh, obviously, we know we know uh, we know Neil from from before, from the first uh, from the first time, and uh, obviously, we tried to we tried to help him. We tried to to speak with other guys and to explain them. Uh, Exactly what he what he wants, what he like, and you know it's like as you said before. I mean, everyone around the dressing room is very competitive. Uh, we always want to win. We always want to win trophies uh, to be the best uh, we can, and um, we're just uh, glad that we did it. Yeah, I was interviewing John Kennedy a couple of weeks ago, and he was obviously talking about the competitive nature in the squad. But he did mention that, that I think it was you and Jeremy Frimpong. Uh, are quite competitive when it comes to this. The NBA uh, com- computer game is that is that correct? Well, I wouldn't say competitive because this is not a competition. But uh, <laughs> I mean, Jerry Jerry has got a long way to 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 be com- competitive with me. <laughs> but uh, no, I mean, it's it's you know we played uh, we played one day after training and uh, some of the staff came to the room and watched it. And yeah, it was it was really uh, competitive. I mean, it's like you can see that the desire to win. It doesn't matter if uh, if it's uh, let's say NBA 2K or FIFA or um, Cup Final. We always want to win. We always want to to be the best. And um, yeah, it was good. It was good. Yeah. So I'm I'm taking it without him having the right to reply. You were much better than him. Then. Uh, I mean. It's, I don't like to speak about myself. <laughs> it's a question you need to ask, Jerry. Yeah, I mean, he's you know as a, as a player that's broken into the squad this year, it's it's been a phenomenal rise for him. Uh, you know, completely out of nowhere, he just joins and, and before you know it, he's just part of the squad. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, Jerry is Jerry is a special talent. I mean, he's um, the first the first few trainings uh, when he came. You know, I mean, it's, I remember it's like everyone was expecting him to be like. 18 years old, like, you know, just develop little, like, uh, slowly, slowly. And then just out of nowhere, he was unbelievable. I mean, he's so quick, he's so sharp, he's strong for a little man. Um, I mean, yeah, he's a special talent, but you need to, you need to keep his, uh, you need to keep his head down. You need to, to keep working hard, you need to keep develop and then, um, Hopefully, I hope for him he, that he will do it and he will reach the top. Yeah, and he also has to brush up on his NBA skills as well. Yeah, that's that's the main thing. Because <laughs> funny, the other the other thing I was thinking just before, you know, the, the lockdown. One of the next games that was going to be coming up for you was the the, the Nations League playoff between Scotland and Israel. And I take it there's been a bit of banter with the Scottish guys in the dressing room already. Yeah, I mean, I always like to. 
to wind up Jamesy and stuff. Uh, James is my is my neighbor in the dressing room. He's sitting next to me, so I always try to wind him up and, uh, and speak about this game. But you know, um, obviously we were looking forward to this game. Uh, it was a big game for us for Scotland, um, and um, you know it's let's say it's a 50-50 match, and uh, hopefully in the future when the game goes ahead. Uh, we will show uh, Scotland that uh, we are better than them. <laughs> is that a strange experience of, you know, as you say, guys that you're, you're spending all your time with every day on the training pitch, are playing for Celtic, and suddenly three or four of them are your direct opponents? Um, yeah, it's, it's a bit weird, but um, I like it. I like it. Um, Obviously, Jim Z and Ryan and Callum and uh, Griffiths and whoever play in Scotland is a top player. Um, but I like I like to wind up Jim Z. Um, Jim Z is a good guy. He's a good lad. And uh, you know, obviously, when you play against them in the, on international level, it's a totally different game. It's um, it's a totally different tactic. It's a totally different um, structure of the game. So. You can't really know what James is gonna do, although you you know him daily, and you train with him on daily basis, and you know what he like. But I think international level is still a little different, and um, it's a bit exciting. You know, I'm I'm really looking forward to this game. Yeah, I'm sure I'm sure they are as well. And I mean, I suppose that's I mean, it's an obvious question to to, to ask you, but I'm guessing as players, you're just desperate to get back on that training pitch and, and you, you're basically seeing your friends as much as your teammates but then start playing with the ball again and, and doing what you do best yeah I never to be honest I never thought I would be missing uh, Lennox Town so much uh, in my life but um, yeah I mean I just I just miss my daily routine you know I just miss waking up in the morning going to training uh, just the simple things you know having my breakfast uh, going to the gym going out uh, for the session with the boys I just miss I miss all these things, uh, but you know there is some things uh, more important in life. Uh, this crazy situation is not um, something that we can predict or uh, can do anything about it. Um, the only thing can, we can do is uh, stay home and uh, listen to the government uh, and trying to you know trying to stay fit, trying to spend time with the family, with the friends, with your kids. Um, and hopefully we'll be back soon. And, and you mentioned before we started about how your your English was getting a wee bit rusty because you haven't been speaking it for a few weeks. So I'm I'm I'm, I'm using this as, as helping you as preparation for going back to Lerrochdown. Yeah, I mean, I'll you know before before I did this uh, conversation with you, I I spoke with uh, with one guy from uh, Celtic on the phone, and I felt my English like, oof, what am I doing here? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I was scared of this uh, of this uh, FaceTime uh, chat, but this is going well till now. Yeah. Um, no, I mean, it's after seven years. It's like it's like uh, it's like home language for me. And um, you know, I just miss uh, miss uh, Lennox Town. I miss Scotland. Um, I just want to be back, uh, play football, training, and we'll see. Yeah. Well, listen. Fing fingers crossed. That's that's not before too long, but. It's been really good talking to you, Neil, and, and seeing you. And uh, thanks very much for for uh, taking the time to speak to us. And the English has been absolutely spot on. I hope so. I hope so. But listen, uh, stay safe, you and your family in Israel, and hopefully we'll see you back at Celtic Park soon. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers. Bye bye.